Okay, welcome to my review of Boruto episode 20. Now, okay, first of all, this episode is my favorite episode of Boruto. Mostly because this is probably one of my favorite adult Hokage Naruto moments in the entire series. Now, adult Naruto and Sasuke are the greatest things about Boruto. I've said this since day one. I love them. Naruto and Sasuke as adults are just the coolest thing in history. Okay, so, my favorite thing, I think I gotta talk about it, is the scene where Naruto describes Sasuke. You know, a lot of the time in Boruto, we see Naruto being very serious, very adult-like. But w when he's talking about Sasuke and Sakura in his childhood, it's just really nice to see the Naruto we follow for the no 700 chapter. He's making all these annoying, stupid, aggravated faces that he used to make when he was a teenager. And he's like, well, he was at the top of the class, just like me. And blah, blah, blah. And he got all the girls. Just like me, like that. I'm just thinking, yeah, Naruto, that's why Sakura never went out with you once. Because you got all, because you got, because you got, because you and Sakura got the same number of girls. <laughs> that's the exact reason that, 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 that idea that they thought Sakura really worked out for you. Because they get, the exact reason, when we were getting Sakura with your rival. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, that was a great little moment where, like, all the girls loved me and they loved him, and... Amazing moment. I really like that we compared, she said she had chance. She had Sasuke died, but her presence is a lot like Sakura. Her presence is a lot like Sakura, I like that. Then there's, of course, my favorite thing. Hands down, and when Naruto comes in, and Sarada's like, and Sarada's like, is this the power inside the Lord Seven? And Sarada's like, yes, the tail beat. The nine tailed is power. Now, I'm not sure of that common knowledge. I would assume it is. I would assume, but I would also assume Sarada probably knows slightly more than the average person because if Sakura ever wants to tell a story about her youth, if she can't talk, so here's the other thing. Sakura can't talk about Sake. She doesn't talk about it. So either Sakura never tells her kid anything about her childhood at all, like ever, or she talks about Naruto. Like I've always assumed Naruto Gruden has heard many stories about Naruto because and what else is Sakura going to tell her stories about? Like you can't tell half because Naruto the main character and Sakura was a secondary character. Secondary main character, so almost everything that happened to Sakura either revolved around Sake, who she's not talking about, or revolved around Naruto. Not the problem. So it's like, if Sakura can't, like, if Sakura wants to tell, um, Dorada of the time she took on and, and the S rank rogue in the top three of the Red Stand, she's going to need to give contact, and that would require explaining what Naruto is. And, it's no secret anymore, so I would assume Sir, I, I'm going to assume Serata, Boruto, and Himawari are very are relatively informed of what of what Sake, Naruto, and Sake are like. Maybe not Sake as much, but you know. That like Sake and Naruto are rivals, Sakura the Sake dubbing snake, Naruto dubbing toe, so I'm going to assume their children have a vague idea of what of what them as Shinobi are capable of. And then Boruto knowing about day mode, but obviously not knowing about nine tail chakra mode. I feel like Sarada knows that her mother uh enhanced strength. I don't think she knows her mother has a has chakra rivaling that of a tail has chakra rivaling that of a tail beast. Like I don't think Sarada knows that. I don't think Sarada knows her dad has a Rinnegan. <laughs> and but that's the Rinnegan, the most overpowered thing in her in the entire universe. But um, the other thing, I, I, I love that thing where he just came in. I love how he was just standing there, like, with his arms just chilling, like, his arms just hanging, he was just like, and his, his chakra arms were just flying everywhere, and so boss. Like, there are no words to describe this fight besides badass. 10 out of 10, um, I, I, I like that, the idea of Sasuke using a cell phone, it's hilarious, but I do like how, I do like the way they did it, it's really, really good, um, I'm looking at my nose stick, so I think it's just a nose stick, wake up, Serata's outfit change, 
Like, you could tell. Studio Marriott knows nobody likes that outfit. They know it. Because I wasn't very comfortable with the changing thing. I felt really weird watching her pull up her leggings or whatever, pants or whatever thing. I felt real, I felt a little like, you know, the girl is like 12. It's like weird. Can we not do this, Marriott? It was weird. But they were just trying to make a bad act. Either way, she zippered up her shirt like you didn't see. It was, it was just it was a really bad act thing. At the end of the day, it was really cool. It was, it wasn't meant to, but like, it was it intend to be sexual. It seemed a little bit meh, but it was definitely intended to be a gear up thing. Where it shows her putting on actual shinobi combat. You're putting on a shinobi combat clothing. So I'm not going to rag the episode Thor. I didn't love it, but I can. De I had no problem with it, and you can actually see my Naruto poster in my bedroom over there. But, uh... Naruto Takage Cloak, I wish, I've always, I haven't brought this up yet, but I believe it was longer in the manga. And I think it's been longer in the four previous episodes, but I don't know, I don't mind. Mishiki and Choto the Jurassic. Hilarious. And, uh... Both fight. Between Sake and Jin. Where, by the way, Sake had been traveling to Kagoya's Kago dimension. So his visual prowess is weakened. So he can't out there. I believe he's unable to use his Rinnegan. And he tried fighting with his Gagagon. So, he's not weak. He can, he can still kick the asses of most people. The only people that I think could probably beat Sake right now are... Uh, Sakura... And anybody else that held the title of Kage. They're the only people, stop going to come in the Kage. I think they're the only people that could currently be, be really challenge him. And I don't think Doc would be the Kage level. But yeah, so, did nobody to threat to him. Doc Naruto fight was also rape. It was rape. It was anime rape. This is exactly what it was. They were raping him. I mean, it was hilarious. Naruto stood there with kind of like, not caring and just shock her arm, beat up shit. It ain't a move. It was hilarious. Um, what else? Um, the Math Man boys I like. They did remove all mention of a certain character that I won't mention because of spoilers. But yeah, that would, you'll know the anime only viewer. They removed a major part of Shin's origin. The manga reader pulled over when I'm talking about. That was weird. Um, it was great thing Kurama again. I liked that. I really like that. Really, really like that. I like the math man voice. I like that. Um, I like that Kurama was amazing. And of course, the end of the episode where Sarada, and then where Sarada finally, she tells Naruto she needs to go to the bathroom. She's at potty, which I found really, well, she's, at, she's at toilet. I need to go to the toilet. So Naruto, like, yeah, okay, don't go too far. Honestly, considering she's the target of a man with a shining gun that had the ball to attack you and Sake, I would have sent the clone with her and had it just turn away. <laughs> because this could end very badly. <laughs> like, this could end so badly. This could end so badly for everybody involved. It really could. I think gonna just she could have just been sitting down to poop and I think gonna just come and grab her by the neck and like tumble her away. It would've been so easy to kidnap her. And Dr. Rubber was like, uh yeah, so yeah, kind of uh I lost you kid. Not gonna be like You brought my kid and you lost them, you son of a bitch! No, but you go to she, uh, she gets so excited at the prospect of meeting Sake she and love Shiningan. Now, some people think did not understand it, but Shiningan is, un is unlocked by intense emotion. It's kind of like going Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball. Alright, it's unlocked by intense emotion. So what you need to understand is that you don't need it. You don't need the Shiningan. You don't need somebody to die or something to unlock a Shiningan. You would need to embrace a sense of motion. T Toby Rama's theory was that uh, Uchiha's love, when Uchiha feels great love and they lose that love, they unlock the shouting god. 
But I think the true. I think it this is kind of like an opposite situation. Serana has been denied the father's love her entire life. So at the prospect of possibly meeting father said father and gaining said love, she unlocked her shotting gun. I will say it looks a lot cooler in the manga. It is indeed. But um, that was nice. She goes in. I really like the. I really like the attention to detail of the way Serata moves, like that, the poses she does. Man, those definitely seem, those are definitely very similar to poses Sakura would make in part one. When she's reinforcing that Sakura is Serata's mother. But, uh, and she got the shining gun, so she clearly Sasuke again. But, uh, no, so Sasuke, uh, sees her. Now, this is the thing people like when you draw up a sword. Sasuke has no idea who she is, alright? He's been away for like 12 years. You're going to learn why later, but he is justified. A lot of people in this chapter came in the manga were like, there is, there, you, he tried to murder his own child. Like, listen. Um, the minute he realizes that it is his daughter, he's not he's gonna stop. I guarantee you. Like, it's not even a spoiler. Like, Saki's not going to kill Thera, his own kid. And then that's it. Not if Thera's gonna die in the anime. It's not gonna go, chop, killing her. That's not what could happen. But that's about all I had to say on this episode. Oh no, the beginning. When Sake falls chin, he performed one handed hand stops. One, he used hand steals on one hand. This went like, while holding a sword, and lightning just grappled down. And I think I made anything of Amaterasu in there. Um, that was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos. I'm not sure which channel I'm going to put this up on. I'm making the final debate about whether I wanted to do, to do a rebrand or stick with a new channel. I'm thinking rebrand. That's probably what we're going to do. So, yeah. One Piece, this is going to be on my old One Piece Nation channel. Where I will be doing, um... Where I will be... It could be on my One Piece Nation channel where I'll be renaming it Yonko Stage and re- I'm doing a channel rebrand. I'm working on it slowly. You guys will get an update on everything going on later.